And welcome back to the Integrated Media Center here on the campus of Geneva College. I'm Chris Matthews, the Sports Information Director, and today we are joined by the Men's Student Athlete of the Week, Nate Burkhart, a junior goalkeeper on the men's soccer team. You're coming off a week where you were the PC Men's Defensive Player of the Week, you're the NCCA Defensive Player of the Week, um, getting all the awards right now. I think you've had three straight shutouts. You lead the PAC in goals against average. Basically, the numbers are all pretty good for you right now, so we appreciate you stopping by for just a minute. Tell us what factors went into you picking Geneva College. When I was looking for a college, for a college or university, I was really looking into something really something in that's more on the scale of a smaller school and somewhere I feel like I could get a one-on-one -on -one connection with my professors and overall with the with the guys. I just wanted a tight unit. I feel like Geneva really brought all three of those factors together for me. So. Gotcha. So your goalkeeper, I'm curious, did you get into goalkeeping early? Did somebody encourage you to go back in there? Or how'd that come about? So I was actually a defender until I was about seven or eight and I was getting bigger. Yeah. And my mom said, you need to run more if you want to be good. And I said, I want to be really lazy. <laughs> so I ended up playing goalkeeper and I learned as I went through the years, it was the hardest position to train, in my opinion, the yeah. hardest position to train. So, <laughs> well, it seems to be working out for you right now. So probably a wise choice by mom. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> so you talk a lot during game. You're, I assume, communicating with your defense, maybe aligning them properly, or kind of what are you communicating to them as, you, as the game goes along? So, um, so when I'm talking to them, I'm real. One, it keeps them in the game. It keeps them focused and ready. But what I really like to focus on is when that when we have other teams' offenses coming toward us. We need to make sure we're shifting, having guys behind the ball, passing players off. So if one guy runs to the opposite side of the corner, we don't have a guy chasing him the whole way there. We have a good flow, a shifting of our back line and everyone in front. And it all starts from the top to bottom. Yeah. So i got to make sure that everyone's zoned in and that everyone has this sort of focus that we're ready to really take whatever anyone's giving us. So. Gotcha. Talk about that defense a little bit because I feel like you have a pretty veteran, talented group in front of you. I know. Sometimes a goalie is only as good as the guys are in front of him. So talk about, you know, Davon and James and Ian and Luke and Chase who moved up top in the last game. But talk about those guys a little bit. Yeah, so the, my, my focus, I really love my center backs. I yeah. love my center backs. Yeah. They're, they're the, I think they're the heart of the team because they have to watch from the back. But I think Davon has so far stepped up as a great leader, and so is James up at that holding mid position. I think they're really bringing a talent and a focus but of course also an energetic drive, which is really propelling the team forward. And they work well together because we have Kevin at right back, yeah. Ian at middle, uh, Chase who went forward, yeah. but now we have Luke, Luke Herman back yeah. there. And a lot of the subs, Avery, they work well together. They shift well, they're good defenders one-on-one. -on -one. And I think we really, when we work together and we have all that communication put together, it's just a big cluster for other teams because they can't figure out how to get the ball yeah. over top. So Yeah, you guys play <clears throat> W&J on Saturday, who comes in, I think they're 4-0 and 1, so near the top of the conference. And in fact, I, I know in watching a lot of their games, they're winning like 5-4 or 4-2. You guys are kind of on the op there's opposite end of the spectrum where you're, you've only given up 13 goals all year, which mm -hmm. is by far the best in the conference. So a little bit maybe of contrasting styles. What do you know about W&J, what his coach told you to expect? Uh, I know W and J from years past, and I know some guys out there. They're a young, talented group. A lot of uh, sophomores, okay. a couple juniors. <clears throat> I'm sure some freshmen. Yeah. But they work hard. I, they're one of the hardest working teams in there. I can't okay. count any other team short so far. Yeah. But they work hard. They bring the energy, and they're just gonna try to quick counters and pound yeah. us hard. So we just have to, like I said before, with our shape. We got to hold tight, and then. Yeah. When the time opens up, we have to shift open as a group and attack their spots. Gotcha, gotcha. Switching gears just a little bit to the academic side of things. You're, what, 10 weeks into the semester, halfway through, probably more than halfway through. How are classes going for you, especially since you're, you've got soccer going on right now you got to balance with? They're tough. They're yeah. very tough. With the nursing, it's, almost, it's a newer side to Geneva that they're incorporating, but I think it's something yeah. really good. Classes are tough because I leave for clinicals, which are about an hour okay. away. Classes at half the time here at Geneva, half the time at CCBC. So it's a haul, but I think I think ath athletics really helps you balance your yeah. time because it helps you set a schedule because you know you got practice four to six and you got all these different classes yeah. from eight to three and you're like I've got no time. But at the same time, you learn to put away all of your selfish activities and 
get your schoolwork done. So. Nice, nice. All right, final four time, four quick ones. You just give me the first thing that comes to mind. Do you play any other sports growing up? <clears throat> a lot. Yeah? I played baseball. I don't know if you – I guess golf. I played golf. All right. What was the other one? I played basketball as okay. well and football. So you, you played around uh, <laughs> in a number of different sports. Nice. Do you have a favorite – professional soccer team that you follow whether it's Europe or here you oh, it's any a, professional team you that's follow? that's tough I like uh, Borussia Dortmund okay and I like Real Madrid I think Real Madrid is my top all right nice if you had to have one would you rather have an 8 a.m. class or a night class if you had to have one of those two which would you pick 8 a.m. 8 a.m. all right and lastly favorite food station at Alex's is there one you're always like okay this one's always good I'd count on it <clears throat> I feel like I always go to the sandwich making area. Yeah, okay. I feel like that's the go-to place. All right, nice. Well, again, congrats on the last good couple last weeks for you guys, really all season, but especially here the last few weeks you guys picked it up. We do appreciate you stopping by here for just a minute. Thank you. All right, that will do it for this edition of the Student Athlete of the Week. I'm Chris Matthews, joined today by Nate Burkhart. Until next time, storm on.